Hey everyone, it's James, and if you saw my last video where I was doing some soundproofing work, I kind of removed everything from the front forehead part of our RV, and what I saw there was a lot of space, and I said, huh, I'm going to do something with this space. So that's this video. Trouble is, I don't know what I'm going to do, so <laughs> you're going to get me, get to see me try to, try to figure this out. But first, a couple things I want you to take note of before we head out to the RV. There is this piece which is kind of, it came off the floor of that forehead area, and it pretty much templates it out fairly well. Now, I'm gonna run something straight across, I think, so I get even more space up there, but make note of this is very thin stuff, right? So, make note of that. Then, make note of this, all this wonderful heat-molded plastic sheet stuff. It's fairly rigid, it stands up on its own, you see. This is what's kind of covering up the trim, like up on the, on the ceiling, that's the ceiling there. And then this is the, the entryway down here into the cab. And that covers all that up and it trims it out pretty nicely. But it takes up a lot of space. And this is where the outlets mount, you know, and it bumps out like that. So kind of pay attention to that. These, you know, 12 pound chunks of metal, I don't think we're gonna do anything with. We're gonna leave those there. So, Let's go out to the RV and I'll show you just some of the challenges I think I'm going to have and some of them I have figured out and some of them I'm just going to start doing stuff and hopefully a solution will become apparent. We'll see how it goes. All right. So ideally I'd like as much of this space as possible, like just all the way, but challenges I'm going to have trimming out up here where it transitions from this to whatever I put over here, trimming that is going to be a challenge covering up this because I want a piece of wood to come straight across like from here to here and so trimming that up and making that look attractive is going to be a challenge and the biggest challenge the one I really is keeping me up at night because I haven't figured it out yet is covering up this the problem with it is that it's a compound curved it's curved in in two directions right so it's curved this way as it kind of, you know, makes a bow on the, on the forehead. And it's also curved this way as it rolls over and it rolls over again. So it's like a triple compound curve kind of thing. No idea. Cause there's nothing up here I can anchor to, you know, I mean, I could, I can't screw into that. The screws would come out the front of the RV, right? So I got, I got nothing. So here's what I've decided for now. And we're going to try to get this far today. I got to trim this plastic flush so that I've got a nice level surface. Then I'm going to template out my plywood and I'm going to cut it and attach carpet and form. That sounds like a lot to get done tonight. That was kind of my goal, but we'll see where it goes. All right, inward.
All right, here we are on day two of the project where I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I've set some modest goals for today and they're modest for two reasons. Number one, it's a work day and so I'm kind of getting a later start. And number two, it's date night and so I have to, I have to knock off early. Um, two things are gonna try to get done today. First, we're gonna secure, I let, yesterday I made that shelf and we, we just put it in there. But today I'm gonna secure it down and that's important because until I secure it in place, Anytime I measure from it, that measurement could change, and I don't really want that happening. So that needs to be secured in place. Two, when it comes to trimming out the inside, this has a lot of that already done, but I physically could not put this back in the spot now because there's a shelf that comes all the way across here. It would have to cut out of there, right, to come across. So what I think I'm gonna do today is try to cut these side pieces so that I can install them around my shelf. And I'm just gonna do the two ends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut like maybe here and over, and then the same thing. The thing is, is I've gotta get it done somehow that it looks the same on both sides. So I can't just freehand it, you know, I've gotta like measure it and put lines or it won't be symmetrical. And these are mirror images of each other. That's gonna be the much harder part because like I can, I can cut plastic with a saw, I did it yesterday, but following like weird curved lines and stuff, that's going to be challenging, let's just say that. But we'll start with the easy part so that I have a win and I don't feel like a complete failure. We're gonna go screw that shelf down, that should be pretty straightforward. Honestly, had low expectations for this plastic cutting project, but it went okay. So, and and I'm done in time for date night. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we are on day three of me not knowing what I'm doing. Um, so let's set out some some meager goals for today. I'm going to need on each side of here a board on the back of this, and so that's one of the goals today is to get that templated and then cut out. And fortunately, it's more or less a mirror image, so I only have to make one template. We'll do that with some cardboard and then cut it out of plywood and we'll have two of those there. Um, this one will be a little different because there will be some outlets and such on the back side of it. Here, this side only has outlets on the front. This side has outlets on the front and the back because that's where like our cell booster and stuff is. So I'll have to put those in. That's one. Number two, I want pieces on the side they're kind of like a yeah, triangle-y kind of thing going straight back and they'll join the front piece at a 90 degree angle. So we'll have e eh, like two sides of a box going back. Get that templated out. And then number three, hopefully, is I need some piece to span this space, like a piece of wood or metal or something, because I'm going to need something that's going to be capable of, of trapping the end of you know some bent like fiberboard or whatever that I'm going to put up in there. It's going to be the roof on the back. I need something to catch the front end of that roof. And so hopefully I can just attach that between the two whatever it is that I put in here today. So those are the three things. But it starts with making some templates for that side and then we'll just use the mirror image over there and then we'll get to work putting them up and see how that goes, I guess.
Okay, it's another night, and I've been informed by Steph that we're going camping tomorrow, so yeah, here we are on day four. Um, I kind of finished these up last night, cleaned them up, and I've mounted stuff to these because it's easier to do here in the shop on a bench than it's going to be in an overhead compartment, you know, inside the RV. So I've mounted this stuff here. We've got mounts for some things like the Wii Boost. I've mounted these LED lights. Now the... Uh, there was an LED light kind of front and center, but it pointed out into the RV, and we never really used that much. But this is going to be a big, empty, dark cabinet, so I figure we'd need some light. So I've got two of these, and they'll join up up here, and we'll, we'll power them up top. I don't think... I've put some brackets here on the bottom for mounting, so for mounting to the floor, we've got these brackets, and then we've got the pocket screws that are on the other side of these two pieces. So... I guess there's nothing left to do but to uh, run these out to the RV and try to get them mounted up. All right, let's go. So take a look around at the disaster and we're going camping in 12 hours so <laughs> i'm stopping here and i'm gonna like clean up all the blood and stuff and then we're gonna go so uh the uh the youngins got their first camper and they're out for their first camping trip so we're gonna go make sure they don't you know hook up their fresh water to the black water that kind of stuff anyway nothing else is going to be done up in here this is that's done so it's just this. I even trimmed out up underneath here. So I think we're uh, we're looking pretty. I got the clock back up, drilled a hole. So there's there was, used to be a cord coming up here. Took care of that, and all the electronics are hooked back up. Yeah. All right. Clean up camping. Yay. Okay. Yeah. We're back. So we're gonna here. We're here to finish trimming this out and getting it ready to go. So. I've got this piece of wood. This is sort of the side profile of it. You see it's very well rounded, top and bottom. And then I've cut a dado in here, which will fit over this. And I was just gonna glue it, which is how I would do a woodworking project. But then I thought, wait a minute. If I glue that in place, I will never again be able to remove these things because it will be blocking them in and I can't take them to the outside because there's walls there. So. I can't glue it, so I'm going to have to fit it over there. And then I've made a big aluminum bracket here that's going to hold it in place and will also be screwed into the, uh, into the underside here. So that's how we're going to get it attached. And when that's done, then we're going to call this project done, but not building. So anyway...
here we go. I can deal with that. Much better. Okay. So there we go. That's sort of the finished project. Big giant shelf up there. I don't know. We need to come up with some sort of better organization up there than what we just kind of threw up in there for right now because it's just stuff in bins. I'm sure I'll find something or Steph will find something to kind of bring some order to that space and give us more storage. But anyway, that's the storage shelf where there used to be. If you're, gosh, if you remember way back when we first got the van, there was just like a wall here. So now we've got that. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. It's James. Bye.